Hi, this YouTube video is to show you how to set up your ledgers. In this YouTube video we'll be looking at the chart of accounts in the ledgers and entering the opening balances. The next one will be entering in the cash journals into the ledgers. That's the next one, let's open up this one. I'd like you to go into the worksheet here, right click, go worksheet object and open that object. We'll maximise that so that we can see everything on the screen. Up here we have the trial balance, initial trial balance with all the balances at the moment and they balance to 98,000. Uh, this is the trial balance at the end but we'll do that last. Then what we're going to do now is the ledgers. So the first part of the ledgers is to put the chart of accounts numbers in. Next to the name there is this gap here on all of them. This is where the chart of accounts number goes. For bank we're going to type equal refer over to here to your trial balance and see that 110 click on that and the hundreds is where we have our assets the next one equipment type equals find the equipment over here a7 and enter drawings type equals 320 300s are where the equity accounts are then all the rest are expenses here so we type equals click on advertising 510 Insurance, interest, I'm lucky enough to have a scroll down, purchases, rent, repairs and wages. Just to give you a chance to catch up, remember you can press pause on the video so you can keep up with us. On the credit side here, we're also going to do the same, name next to the name, chart of accounts number. Type equals, find the GST, 200 is a liability account, and loan will be the same, 220. Note that the numbers go up in tens, that way if there's something in between, for example mortgage, I might make the mortgage LM, actually I might make that 230. Capital, 310. Classes your revenue account, revenues are 400, interest 420 and sales 430. So we've entered in all the chart of accounts numbers in the ledgers. Next thing we've got to do is enter the opening balances. We've got a bit of a cheat here. The cheat is about copy and paste. First of all we put the third of the third, the opening balance see up here, trial balance third of March, tab and type the word balance. Now every single account is going to have the same thing. They've all got an opening balance, so we'll all need the third of the third and balance. So what we're going to do, highlight those two cell, control C for copy, and paste control V into all the other accounts. Scrolling down. And make sure you get all the way down to wages. as the last one on our debit side. Same thing on our credit side, we'll just control V again. They all have opening balances at the 3rd of March and sales, the last one there. So at the moment we've got our chart of accounts numbers in, we've got a date, we've got balance. Now we go to the balance column. Because the balances, they don't go in the debit or credit column, that's reserved for transactions. So the balance column, our opening balance in bank, type equals, find the amount, any trial balance, 5,800, click on that in C5, and I like to go tab here and type DR. Equipment, the balance, opening balance equals equipment 28,000. We'll leave the DR at the moment. Drawings equals opening balance. 21,000. Advertising equals 18. Insurance. Interest. Purchases equals uh, C10. Rent 1,200. Repairs. 
190 and lastly wages 18,800 the reason I wanted to not put the debits in yet is because they're all debits so I'm just going to control C on that one and paste that down control V this is a debit credit column all accounts will stay debit if they start debit stay credit if they start credit the only two exceptions will be uh, GST if we are getting a refund or the bank if it goes into overdraft over here on the GST our opening balance again we type equals leaving out the debit and credit column find the GST 196 the loan 6000 the capital equals 8000 classes equal 26400 interest 204 and last one sales 57,200 again this needs a debit or a credit so type CR enter and copy that and paste good now I can't guarantee your assessment will be the debit side credit side but it does make it easy that's the end of this video the answers you'll see down below on setup with an A, you might like to just check your answers with that. The next video that follows this is one posting the journals into the ledgers having already set it up. See you there.